Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nyla Amin, and I am a survivor of a forced marriage. At the age of 14, I went into foster care because my parents found out I had a Spanish boyfriend. I had just entered ninth grade, but the whole story is that I was engaged at the age of eight. So starting high school, I was 13. And when they found out I had a boyfriend, my father had a fit. I was beat and I ran away and my boyfriend at the time, he took me back to my high school and he took me to a social worker and when she saw the marks on me, uh, they put me into a group home and I was always very rebellious. I didn't like the lifestyle, the lockdown group home, so I would run away a lot and I was just a naughty child. and. I ran away a lot and finally I went home. I couldn't take the go to bed at 9 a.m., do this, do that. You know, I grew up in a very, my I come off from a very well-off family and I grew up having everything, so I decided to run away and go home. And when I went home, my parents were like, let's go back to Pakistan. We'll take you there till you're 18 and then we'll bring you back and the state will no longer have any custody of you. When, while I was in these group homes, I was eating pizza for three months because they didn't know what halal food was. I was the first Pakistani girl they've ever had in Nassau County Department of Social Services. For three months, I ate this round Trader Joe's pizza. I'll never forget it. And after a while, I started eating chicken and beef because I was like, I cannot eat pizza anymore because it was just too much. I eat everything now except for pork. Um, but basically, what happened to me in foster care is that nobody understood me. It's because in the United States, we don't have any laws for child brides. So if a 16-year-old, I'm a caseworker now, and I'll be a social worker in May, I graduate. And I believe that if a child, thank you. If a child was to call me right now and say, help me, my parents are taking me to Pakistan tomorrow, I cannot help her unless she tells me they're beating me, they're raping me, they're doing this. Child marriage is not illegal in the United States. I was in the New York Times on February 2nd, and hopefully because of the picture that they saw of me at 15 years old, they're pushing new uh, curbing, you know, trying to push new laws. And I was rescued by the Department of State when my uncle I ran away from my husband. I got married at 15 years old my, when my parents took me back. And I married my 28-year-old cousin and I slept with my rapist. I cooked for my rapist. When nighttime would come, I just wanted to die. Like, I try to drink bleach, I try to kill myself. When you look at me, you think this girl looks normal. She looks like whatever, you know? You would look at me and think she's probably into fashion or the arts. But I do have a disability. I suffer from PTSD and anxiety. And I am on medication for anxiety. And there are nights for three, four years I dreamt of running away in the city of Peshawar, Pakistan. And I was rescued by the US Embassy. And I actually met with the Department of State on February 11th. And I met with the US Consulate to come up with new uh, policies. What can we do? I live in a village where you need a horse and carriage to get to the embassy. So when I escaped and I returned, my husband beat me to pulp in front of my parents, in front of my mother and my father. My husband was my father's nephew. They had to lock my dad in a room with a gun because he was ready to kill me in an honor killing. Right now, I'm an intern at the AHA Foundation, and I want to make sure that I criminalize child marriage in the US and put an end to this. Not just to this, but to any violence against women, because we give life, and we deserve, we deserve the world. I'm sorry, you guys, you men are, you guys are good too, but women, we give life. We, got, we give you life. And at the end of the, I don't think I'm weak for sharing my story as a victim. I think I am setting the world on fire with the truth. Thank you for listening to my story.